everybody, it's 40 Caliber 101. I got another video for you today. And as you see right here, I got my competitive rig out. Um, and well, the reason I got this out is because I want to show you how to properly put together your Emerson Gear uh, Speedmaster holster. This also work on uh, double alpha uh, style holsters. So uh, if you want to be able to know how to put it together, this is definitely the video for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this particular holster. Uh, this is gonna take a couple minutes, but in the meantime, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Like I said, this is my speed uh, my Speedmaster holster from Emerson and Gear. Uh, I do got a video of the particular holster as well as the whole setup, so you can check that out. I'll definitely be uh, putting that down in the uh, description below, um, so y'all be able to watch it. Uh, this is, like I said, Emerson and Gear. You know, Emerson and Gear is kind of like a budget. Um, style company. Uh, they do make budget style uh, replica of, um, holsters and other type of gear. Uh, they make these. They also make a CR Speed style holsters as well. Um, and anything CR, CR Speed style, you know, they make the holsters, the mag pouches, um, as well as, like I said, they make uh, double alpha style as well. Uh, these particular pouches are like double alpha uh, mag pouches. They are aluminum, so. And Sorry about that. Once again, these uh, these particular holster here will also uh, hold a double alpha uh, insert blocks. So if you do have double alpha and you don't, you know, an insert block, um, and you want to buy this holster, you know, you can buy these holsters re uh, relatively, you know, pretty cheap. Uh, they're not too cheap, but you know, they're good enough to get the job done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this taken care of. All right, so. When you get the holster, it'll come in multiple pieces. Um, first and foremost, you know, it'll come in, you'll have a uh, angle block. Um, you'll have a locking block for the particular pistol that you're using. Um, you actually have the insert um, already attached with the, uh, the safety. You'll get a through bolt as well as a spring. These two go together, so do not lose them. And then you will get the holster itself a hanger, um, as well as three different screws. This one right here is for the uh, the insert block or the locking block for the uh, the holster. Or to hold, actually locking the pistol. So if you want, if you, you know, you can adjust it down or up or anything like that to actually open it up. As well as two uh, uh, fasteners for uh, to retain the particular locking or the insert block. All right. First thing you want to do is you actually want to grab your your insert block. Now. You have this big opening right here, okay? The insert block you want with the uh, the opening to the right, uh, which would, yeah, to, the, to my right. Um, and you take the insert, the locking block, you want to slip it in uh, around this area relatively. You know, it's a little bit a little bit more of an opening. You want to slide that in, and you want to push it down, okay? And from there, you want to take your angle wedge and you want to slide it in. Make sure that when you slide it in, the flat piece, see if you look right here, it actually uh, kind of angles up. That angle actually matches in when it slides down and it'll sit flush. You want it to sit flush. Now from there you're going to take your your actual holster, the actual uh, holster itself, and you want to slide it in to where the uh, Kind of, kind of on a side like this where everything's still flat. So you're gonna take the actual insert and slide it into the holster itself. And it's gonna sit in there and it's gonna sit pretty snug. And if you do that right, if you look inside the hole here, the angle uh, wedge, the uh, the wedge should not move whatsoever. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get the wedge stuck in. Now with the spring on, okay, the retention spring, you're gonna place that inside and it's gonna go through the wedge and you start be able to thread it in. It should thread out through the other side. And you don't want to tighten it real tight, but you don't want to tighten it, you know, keep it kind of loose. You want to hand tighten it until you can't really tighten it no more. Okay, there'll be a little bit of stick out on the, uh, on the other side. Um, after that, you want to make sure that the, uh, uh, that the locking block is actually in the down position. And you can tell that by the hole in the back by here, back here. Uh, there'll be a hole where this right here actually these uh, particular screw threads into and you want to slide that into that hole and start tightening it down 
Now this screw right here is actually uh, their metric. And I wanna say, this is a uh, 2.5 uh, millimeter head. Um, the actual next two screws are the same thing. Now you wanna tighten this down enough to where it is rel relatively flush with the, uh, the holster so you can actually still get a good angle on it or get a good bite on it and you'll be able to adjust uh, up and down on your actual locking block. Okay. Now keep this up in the up position. Um, so it'll actually, won't, you won't be able to or actually engage your safety uh, because if you have it in the down position, you actually won't be able to uh, insert your pistol whatsoever and you'll be wondering why. Um, and that'll actually be the reason why, the, why I won't insert. So the way you check that is make sure the screw is all the way up and you cannot engage your safety. Next thing you would do is uh, the last two screws that you got here um, are your retaining screws. Uh, and those two are the same thing. They are uh, 2.5 millimeter. So tighten those down. Now these do come with a, specific, uh, actually come with the, uh, the Allen sets. Uh, there are two Allen keys that come with it. Um, I fairly like to use my uh, Allen set key, Allen key as, uh, that I have in my hand. Um, reason being, I can actually get a little bit more torque on them and tie them down a little bit better. Hey, with that saying, you know, you don't want to just tighten them down as, you know, too tight. Uh, get them pretty snug though. You don't want them to come out. If you want to and you don't want to really actually worry about them backing out, you can put a little bit of lock time, but I tell you right now, these, they're not going to come out. Now, with that being said, after that, as you see right here, I've already got my holster, uh, latch already, or my, uh, my belt loop already uh, on my belt. Uh, the back, there are uh, four screws in the back, or Allen heads in the back. Um, it'll be the same 2.5 millimeter. Now there is a bigger bolt right here. Um, you do want to take that out. It will come uh, already installed into the uh, the belt loop portion. Uh, that particular one should be a uh, three millimeter. Oh no, actually, it is not a three millimeter. It is a four millimeter. Yep, it is a four millimeter. Um, and all you have to do is slide the holster on, like so. You take the bolt, put it into the holster, and just start slightly tightening it down. Now with this here, there is a little bit of clearance, so you will be able to get into it with one of these Allen key sets. Um, it takes a little bit of finesse, and that's why I like using the round-headed portions, or Allen keys. So with a regular Allen key, it would be kind of hard. You wouldn't be able to really do this. You would actually have to take the holster out or from the um, extension arm. Um, that's why I like using the round-headed ones, so I don't have to do that. And then we get it kind of orientated in the same way that I had it before. There we go. I like mine kind of at a camp. And you just tighten it down. Now that's pretty much everything to it. That's how you pretty much put together a uh, double alpha style holster, the Race Master holster. Um, uh, this all, like I said, this is the Emerson gear, but if you have a Race Master holster from a from double alpha, it's the same exact way. Now, if you do have a magnetic insert, uh, the only difference is you do not have to have that through bolt, uh, the big one that goes through the side. Um, when you buy the magnetic inserts from Double Alpha and you want to run it in this, you'll actually have come with a sticker that'll have a magnetic sticker on it. You just slap a little magnetic uh, sticker on the side and like all I said is magnetic on it. Um, so it pretty much gets rid of that and you'll only be using the two fasteners in the back and the uh, uh, the locking block, um, excuse me, locking insert block uh, screw to be able to adjust it. Other than that, that is pretty much it. That is exactly all you need to know to put one of these holsters together. Um, but other than that, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, uh, leave comments, concerns. If you want to see anything else on this channel, please let me know um, in, the, in the comments below, and I'll definitely try to get back to you um, and definitely be able to get that, uh, those videos out there. Uh, if you want to see some more equipment gear uh, uh, um, reviews like this, just let me know. Uh, I've already contacted us at Emerson Gear. If you want to see some more stuff from them, you know, I'm, I'm getting in contact with them right now. I've talked to him already, and hopefully I can get some uh, get some info uh, pretty back pretty soon uh, if we can get some more gear. But if not, I'll, I'll personally buy it myself and be able to do the review for you guys. So other than that, you know, just 40 caliber one one, and I'm signing off.
Oh, <laughs> no.